I'm Rob. And I'm Nate. And welcome back to Rob and Nate Record a Podcast. And uh, this is episode two of an unknown number of episodes for our October 2020, 2021 theme month. Mm-hmm. That was almost really scary, sending us back to October <laughs> 2020. Yeah. But for tonight, we watched the 2021 release, Muppets Haunted Mansion. A TV special. Yes. In essence. Uh, but I wanted Disney to do Plus. this because we started out strong and heavy with The Exorcist, and I wanted to make sure we covered something family-friendly this year. You know what happens when you don't pay your exorcism bill? You get repossessed. Yeah. Yeah. Something we learned. That was a good joke. Or a decent joke, I guess mm-hmm. I should say. So, yeah. What did you think of this, Nate? It was fine. Yeah. It's very much more for a younger crowd. Mm-hmm. It's kid friendly. I liked the television special aspect of it. Like you don't really see things like this so much anymore. I guess Disney Plus is bringing them back, but one of the problems that the Muppets has had is a, a, a bigger story to graft their hijinks onto. It's been consistently, I think, the biggest problem that the Muppets have faced. And so when you're doing something. Shorter like this, which is about 52 minutes, you don't need a ton of story. And you just have plenty of excuses for various Muppet jokes. One thing that I enjoyed about this was they were able to bring back something I don't think they've done in close to 40 years, which is the ballroom dancing joke sequence like they did on The Muppet Show, Yeah, where they have in the Haunted Mansion ballroom various ghost Muppets dancing around and delivering bad jokes. And that was, I was glad to see that again. There was kind of a poignant joke at one point, and when Ed Asner presents as one of the ghosts, Mm -hmm. of course, Ed Asner has recently passed away, so that was a fitting. Which is recognized in the closing credits. Yes. Our dear friend Ed Asner passed away. Um, Should we say what this special is about? I mean, I guess it's pretty obvious. Yeah, Gonzo is invited to. The haunted mansion of the great MacGuffin, mm-hmm. and he, something about the he price dis- if he spends. He disappeared. The night. Great MacGuffin had disappeared a hundred years ago that very night from his mansion, and if he spends a full night there, I can't remember what the word was. What he gets? Some kind of MacGuffin. Yeah. Some kind of something. Yeah. And Gonzo wants to go, and Peppy the Prawn thinks it's going to be some kind of celebrity party. Yeah. So he goes. Tags along. Tags and, along and has yeah. his hijinks. And I, I thought it was cute how this movie, or special TV special, whatever you want to call it, it played things like really, I want to say straight and at the same time not straight, like having Will Arnett be the MacGuffin. Mm. You know, he's the host who's the MacGuffin who's the MacGuffin. Yeah, yeah. And you get what you have always gotten from Muppet Properties, which is... Relevant to semi recently relevant guest stars, most notably Taraji P. Henson, John Stamos, Yvette Nicole Brown, yeah, Ed Asner, Danny Trejo was ghost. Uh, it's Pat Sajak was also one of the ghosts. Oh, I missed that one. Yeah, yeah. Justina Machino. Anyway, yeah. Pleasant uh, assortment of people that you're at least vaguely aware of. Yeah, and, and, and again, this mostly focuses on Gonzo. You have Kermit and Miss Piggy in it, and Kermit seemed a little bit annoyed with Piggy, like more so than perhaps in, in the past, mm. which was kind of interesting, especially in that opening video call that, yeah, that yeah. they have and stuff. But yeah, I mean, it was... It, it was, was fine. A, it was fine f- for a Muppets TV special. Mm. It's not Muppets Christmas Carol. Yeah, It's not know, one that you're going to feel any need to revisit. No, but if you have like nieces and ne- young nieces and nephews, like this is an easy one to pull out this time of year. So mm. yeah, and it's fairly true uh, to the ride. Now, of course, Disney uh, after the success of the Pirates of the Caribbean said, "Oh, we're going to do all sorts of movies based on our rides." Like they did a Country Bears, and yeah. they did this haunt, uh, Haunted Mansion with Eddie Mur- Murphy, which is notoriously awful. I've not seen it, but it's supposed to really stink. So, this was presumably better than that. I guess I can't say firsthand. Yeah. Uh, it also, again, helps that it's 52 minutes. Yeah. Well, and this was released today. So, 
we're fairly early in watching this. As of today on IMDb, it has an aggregate score of six point eight stars. It's probably right around where it, where it uh, mm-hmm. where it would rank. So, yeah, it was fun. Again, it's for any, a younger crowd. It's it's not a huge time commitment. I will say it's better than the Lego Star Wars Halloween special oh, yeah. that recently came out, which you didn't finish. Not yet. Mm. No, but this was yeah. The, the fact that I could finish this one that, that says something. So mm. yeah. You got much else to say on this? So if you're in the mood for a thoroughly fine, that keeps being the word, a middling, funny enough. It's got a few jokes that, that, that laughed. The two twin pigs at the end, I laughed out loud yeah. doing the, the twins from The Shining thing. And then I also love the ghost. Nobody just says goodbye here. They just ghost you. Yeah. Yeah. Nobody ever says goodbye here. They just there's you. there's some good jokes throughout this. There's there's some funny jokes that I mean adults will appreciate it, but the the majority of this is made for kids. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So you want to give it a rating? Um, I will give it. It's fair. I'll give it two. Yeah. I'll give it five. Yeah, maybe six. I think I'm a two and a six. Mm-hmm. So yeah. Well, I'm Rob. I'm Nate, and this is Rob and Nate record a podcast. That is an ad for the new Chucky TV series. Indeed. Have you seen any ads for that? I think I have, yeah. yeah. I don't... Ex- part of me wants to watch it, and part of me is I, like, that's going to be yeah. so garbage. Yeah, it'll be garbage. Yeah. All right, you ready for this? I was ready. A marathon episode? Yeah. yeah. Oh, come on, computer. Who are you? My computer's giving me messages. I was figuring oh, okay. things out. Who are you? Easy edit. That should be our shortest episode ever. Yeah, it could be. I almost wish I hadn't put weeks on these because I could have edited this and dropped it really fast. <laughs> but yeah. this is also intended for a week when we're going to have yeah. more than one release that week. Oh, yeah. So.